Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, we will explore lookups and how to find information in your ACT Premium Cloud account. After gathering information about your contacts and entering them into ACT, you need a way to find this data again. In ACT, you can find your data by performing a lookup. A lookup is a basic way for setting search criteria for finding contacts, companies, or opportunities which match that criteria. The most common lookup is to show all contacts in your database. To show all contacts, you can go to the lookup menu and select all contacts. And then simply go to the list view. What if you wanted to see which contacts were created today? You can perform a lookup to find the answer. From the lookup pane on the left, use the contact field dropdown and select create date. Then go to the Contains field and type today's date. When you hit Enter, if there are any contacts that were created today, ACT will display them as a lookup. You may need to click the List View button to see them all in one place. Let's say you want to extend this lookup to include all contacts created in the last month. From the Lookup pane, click the More Options link. ACT opens up a lookup window. From here, Again, select Create Date. For the Middle Operator field, select Within Last Days. And then for the third field, type in the number 30. Then click OK. ACT will display a lookup of all contacts created within the last 30 days. The Lookup menu at the top of the screen will help you to fine-tune your lookup. You can search by contact, company, name, and more. ACT is also capable of more complex lookups. These are called advanced queries. Advanced queries allow you to set additional parameters and filters, called rules, to your lookups. Let's say that you want to find everyone who works for the company CH Tech one who has the letter J in their name. This would require an advanced query. From the lookup menu, we'll go down to Advanced, and we'll select Advanced Query. In the Advanced Query window, we want to leave the search for field as contact and also the type as contact. The field name we want to find is company. We want the operator to say equal to and then the value is going to be ch tech1. Now we'll click the add to list button. This adds the first rule or criteria to our search. We want this search to include only people who work at ch tech1. Now for the second criteria people whose name contains the letter J. Again, the type will be contact, and the field name instead of company is going to be contact. Our operator will be contains, and for value will be the letter J. Again, we'll click the button to add this to the list. Now we have two rules or criteria. The first one identifies the company, CH Tech one and the second one identifies all contacts who have a letter J in their name. If we click the Preview button, we'll be able to see if any results come back. I notice now that there are three contacts who work at CH Tech one and each of them have the letter J in their name. If we want to save this query for future use, we could use the Save button at the top. Otherwise, if all looks good, we can proceed by clicking the OK button. Again, ACT will ask us if we want to save the query. If not, let's click No, and then we want to replace our current lookup with the current one that we're searching for. ACT will display the results of this advanced query as a lookup. You can switch from the list view to the detail view of any of these contact records. This concludes the video on getting started with lookups. We will readdress some of these topics in the groups and companies videos, which you'll see next. <laughs>